Attendees at the latest Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC, are getting the chance this week to see for themselves some of the Republican candidates posturing for possible presidential runs in 2024. The focus for Texas Senator Ted Cruz was on U.S. President Joe Biden. While Democrats maintain they have a chance of keeping control of Congress in this November's midterm elections, Cruz predicted Biden's policies are laying the groundwork for a Republican blowout. We are going to see in November not just a red wave, but a tsunami sweeping this country. Cruz ended his speech by calling on the audience to continue believing they can win. You are the courageous heroes fighting for liberty in our country, and I'm here to tell you, together, we are going to restore that shining city on a hill that is the United States of America. Thank you, and God bless you. Another speaker who has been linked with a possible presidential run, Florida Senator Rick Scott. He spoke about his 11-point plan that he says will rescue America. In it, he says he would better fund the police and punish criminals, get every child in every U.S. school to stand for the national anthem and distance relations with China. Nations have borders. We're going to secure a border, build the damn wall, and when we finish it, we're going to name it after President Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump will himself take center stage at CPAC on Saturday evening. And although the former U.S. president has yet to confirm he is running again for the Republican presidential nomination, it would appear many of the attendees here are hopeful that he will. It's exciting that he might be another, um, you know, be on the ticket again. Uh, but really, there's a lot of up and coming Republicans as well that I think, you know, him coupled with any of them, I think would be a really strong outcome. I'm kind of excited that Trump might be running again. Um, he's done a lot um, showing his four years being president. For now, the speakers appear focused on the midterm elections. But once those are over, expect the race for the White House in 2024 to truly begin. Dan Williams, CGTN, Dallas.